start with Laura. The topic of race realism, for the most part, has always been IQ centric. It's just starting to get out of that, which is a good thing because I think that IQ isn't relevant enough to tie to race simply because even if all the races somehow had equal IQs, there's more issues than just the IQ part in terms of racial egalitarianism and why racial egalitarianism is, quite frankly, a terrible ideology. Another fault would probably be the fact that even groups that have higher IQs, if they tend to focus on their identity above Western civilization, if they raise the gap, avoid assimilation, become antithetical with Western civilization and its values, they do tend to become more of a detriment. After all, they're acting against the authority, or whatever is left of the authority. Right now, the idea has become the authority because any explicit authority in Western civilization is gone. It's all become democratized. It's all become an issue of totality. It's like I said with Obama. It, he's no longer a confident guy. He's arrogant. He's conceited because his status is entirely democratic, so he has to be that way. He has to focus on what other people think of him. And oftentimes, be pissy and butthurt when he has to make a politically suicidal decision because he's a good boy. And that's what I'm noticing for a lot of... Let's see... Of the African American community. The smarter ones are actually pretty interesting, especially when they're on our side, but getting outside the topic of intelligence, since even left-wingers can usually accept the importance of intelligence. I know in my law classes, IQ has always been a big issue, although IQ and intelligence shouldn't be completely identical in definition. What am I self about to read it out loud. I got a new email confirmation. Okay, it's from Eric Orwall. Oh no, it's just notifying me that Eric Orwall made a new video. So, wow, that's pretty bright. You can't see anything from that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, I could use this as a lighting effect. I mean, it doesn't make my face look completely scary. It's not like a fucking flashlight, but, uh... It does have a little power. I mean, I, I've used this as a flashlight. There is a flashlight feature. Probably kills the living fuck out of my batteries, but... Who's gonna fucking call me? Let's see... I'm just going to use this as lightning now. Fuck that lamp. This one is more luminescent. More white, less yellow. That's even the right word to use. But anyway, at best, African Americans with a history here that haven't tried to be militant, they're okay. Grog has said this before, but, uh, there is a community that's becoming manipulated by whatever is the most militant ideology. That's why I noticed that a lot of those groups like ACORN or anything Obama's been in, or any like pseudo-black power supremacist group, 
they kind of remind me of feminists. Especially the females. The females just like they remind me of feminists that forgot what be they don't care about what the female issue, they just moved on to the race issue because it's a lot more dramatic and dangerous. Honestly. And thus you can be more militant with that than just oh, all men are fucking evil, scum, they're useless, and weak, and any attempt at using power is just insecurity. That kind of thesis, it's not enough for them, so they gotta move on to something way more interesting, which is the race issue. We can be more militant, you can have stronger, more so brave that JPG opinions about that shit. And I honestly can't blame them since they're looking for power. That's that's one thing that I notice in their kind of civilizations is an important value, power. It's like who is most adorial. Honestly, this is oh ooh, shit. You can there's levels to this shit. It didn't even kill a lot of my battery. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Um, should it be blasted directly into my face? Um, no, that's actually a very disorienting. But if I were to... Just like with the lamp, I don't blast that directly to my face. But if I were to just like... Um, let me see. See, it's, it's more resonant now. I'm not going to blast that shit on you guys, because that's, that's very inconsiderate. But if I blast it right there, and then maybe move this camera... Okay, I think I found something that works. That That's enough with that bullshit. I really don't think that me and phones work very well together. <sighs> Good thing I didn't make videos in earlier time, like 08 or 09, because I would have probably did this kind of bullshit but with a DS. I fucking love the Nintendo DS and shit like that. So, <sighs> they do hold on to militant views. Gay black guys are probably the most intense LGBT activists and any social movements. I, I emphasize a lot on social movements and social justice, even though those topics in and of themselves are eventually going to get redundant because it's, it's in general not enough. It's only a small slice, maybe like a third or a quarter or even a fifth of a much bigger issue because that just applies to how the law is going to work, how right and wrong are going to be administered. It's not going to affect our ideals as much. It's not going to be the root of that because we're not a legalistic nation. This isn't, if this was applied to Asia, I could understand how that would be a much bigger issue. The rise of feminism in Japan, not a good thing. Oh, granted, they're not legalistic, but they're more prone to it than we are. We don't think of law and we think of right and wrong per se, unless we're militantly status quo <laughs> and like black female lawyers since uh I did go into um high school of minorities for the subject of law and also finance um yeah that I can understand that very opinionative very argumentative and that's because they have power in mind they don't have this agency value they don't the reason Whites or even white Hispanics like me uh, love the topic of agency because they got the mestizo white fe features. It's because 
that's what helped us maintain ourselves. Agency. Control. Denial. These kinds of things. Agents sort of have a value that, that's similar, that's a little more layered, kind of like ours. Of course, it's never going to be the same thing. The West is king. That's that's just it. Regardless, regardless. IQ is not enough. If we all have the same IQ, it's going to be our strengths and our values that are hardwired into us that's going to really fucking matter. It's going to be how we resonate with others. If we don't resonate, if we can't resonate enough, and we start going the opposite direction, our instincts are going to become antithetical. They're not going to become a synthesis. They're not going to synthesize us and make us into this one super strong thesis. No, it, it, it's just going to pull us apart. It's going to really fragment us, atomize us, which is what's happening now. I mean, white guilt, how we en engage our agency. It, it's really weird. The more introverted or the more agent of the groups that we have now. And we really do need to emphasize more on power. Because we have that. That's an important value. We got to focus on that aspect. Using our authority as a means of power. Power doesn't corrupt guys. Corrupt people just come into power a lot more because we've really democratized. And moreover, besides democratizing, we really just rejected a lot of the principles that have helped us unite. I mean, democracy is a really fucking old idea. And how we've gotten into this predicament is a lot more just democracy. This is Mr. Rocker 7, and... <sighs> Yawn. I was gonna hit you guys with the SMD, but if I give it to you guys all the fucking time, you're not going to appreciate it. So I'm just going to fucking tease you guys with that shit.